Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Well, whatever this person is hearing from somebody else about you, Collective, it's got them really burdened. I'm, I'm telling you, they can't get any sleep at night. This news is haunting them. Um, it's like they can't take it anymore. Uh, that's the feeling that I'm getting. They just can't take it anymore. Because um, they can't keep carrying this burden around or whatever this is. See, this there's somebody here who's talking to somebody else, working with other people to get information about you. Um, you could be an Aquarius. You could be... I feel like, yeah, you could be any sign, but you could be out here in the public eye, maybe have your own platform, um, just on a major glow up. You're uh, you're like a dream come true for this person. You really are. The, the problem is, is they're not speaking to you. Um, they're talking to other people about you. There's a page of wands here that's feeding this person information about you, okay? This could be somebody younger or just somebody immature that likes to gossip, okay? This could be something like a child, a kid, all right? But um, they're getting information from, uh, from you and delivering it to this masculine. And whatever they're hearing, they're, uh, they're losing their mind, I feel. This is haunting them at night. They're not getting any sleep. No sleep for this person, yeah. Everything is being exposed. They could be finding out... Um, that um, you've got a lot, like you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself. You're beautiful out here with the star energy. You're living a peaceful life, okay? I feel like you've healed. Maybe you've gotten over this person. Yeah, they're finding, yeah, they're finding out a lot of information from someone else. I feel like you've got someone else in your inner circle that... Um, is talking to this ex, okay? And they're realizing here that uh, you're the one that they want, but you're getting away. If you look at this card really close, this person isn't lifting up this, this woman. He's holding her down, trying to hold her down by grabbing a hold of her wrist, see? He's really muscly here. He's, he's trying to hang on for dear life, right? As you elevate, you're being, um, you're ascending here. You're, you're upgrading. You're healing and you're, I feel like you're moving on from this person. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe a Leo. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, they're heartbroken, man. They know that they put you through it. See, this is what they did to you. They gave you the Three of Swords, but now they're feeling that same pain that you are. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. I'm getting the sense that this person was all up in their ego. Um, they sat on this for far too long here. Um, you know, the King of Swords to me, it just always gives me this feeling of they're pretty cold. They're pretty harsh. Um, they don't like to be told what to do. They, they're they very stubborn. They think that they know it all. This is kind of a know-it-all, all right? Um, I feel like they're they're getting ready to talk to you. If you notice here, they're, they're laying here tapping on this blade. Um, this is somebody who puts a lot of thought, uh, strategic planning into what they're going to say. Okay, I'm just getting the sense that they're getting a lot of information here from this page of wands. Um, and it's all painful information. They're being told that you're moving on, that you're looking good, real good. Okay, yeah, you've got other options or maybe they did and they want to walk away from everybody. Clarify this Seven of Cups and Eight of Cups. Give me one more on that for my beautiful collective. Yeah, they, um, I'm getting the sense that this person had any other options, which I feel like they did. They put you in a third party situation and broke your heart, okay? Um, sacrificed you, betrayed you. 
and now this person, um, they want to take some kind of action. They know they have to talk. This is somebody who knows they've got to approach you. They're seeing everything and everyone from a whole new perspective now. See that first they have all these options. Now they're walking away from them. So they're realizing here that they've got to cut some people out of their life in order to come towards you, possibly three other people. Um, you could be dealing with the Pisces. And this person, you know, I feel like they they wanted to keep you sort of on the side, you know, keep you on hold, but they can't anymore. You're you're literally um, elevating. You're you're moving on. You're you've healed. I feel like all you want right now is your peace. You know, you don't want your your heart broken anymore. Yeah, here they come with an apology, but you know what? I feel like you've already made your decision here. I don't know why I'm getting heavy Gemini. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Leo, Scorpio. And your person is heavy Pisces or air signs, okay? But yeah, you're, um, you've got your boundaries up and you have made a decision here to end this. It's ending, this connection. And you could even be moving on. Um, maybe you're making a house move or something like that. I'm just picking that up with the strength card. It's like you're on the move collective and this person can't stand it. Um, they're hearing that... Um, yeah, this is what they're hearing. What else are they hearing? Clarify this page of wands. What is this person being told about my collective? They've come in too soon with this offer. This person's about to be defeated. Here's the thing. Yeah, I, I feel like maybe they are being actually told that. You know, Ed, you've missed your shot here. All of the pain that they put you through collective is coming back on them. They're watching you like a hawk. They're looking at your money. I feel like they're being told how much money you make, or maybe they're trying to add up what you could be possibly making. You could have some job online. Okay, this is um, reaching a lot of people possibly on the Internet. You could have your own website. You could have your own blog. You could have your own channel out here on YouTube. But you're attracting the attention of so many people who love what you're doing. You could be someone very spiritual, very intuitive. You're highly intuitive here. And you haven't been speaking to this person, not ever since they betrayed you. And they're looking at your money. They're finding out about um, possible fame here. Like you could actually be a star. What else are they being told about the, my beautiful collective? You could be having some kind of major victory here, being celebrated in the community, definitely in the public eye. Or you could be having somebody else coming towards you. You're an empress energy. You're every queen in the deck. Yeah, they're being fed some kind of information here. This could be somebody who works really hard. They could have um, like a real physical job. Okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, see, I, this person knows that they want to approach you now. But here's the thing. They may have some financial issues. I mean, really, they're coming in in the Three of Pentacles energy, and I'm seeing hands out here. So, yeah, they're looking into your money, and I feel like this person is going to try to manipulate you as well because they know that with you they could be on easy street, basically is what it is. Um, they're being told how much money you make or what you're doing, or they could be watching you online, okay? Hermit energy, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Aries. And I feel like they're going to come in thinking, you know, this is, do you remember the time when we fell in love, right? That's what I'm feeling like here. Or um, this could also be like the father of your children. 
or you could have known this person your whole life. But I feel like they're going to use this trying to get into your heart space, trying to manipulate you so that they can have a new beginning. They may even want to come in with passion and lust, which I think is a, a wrong idea. Um, yeah, because they've been away from you. They've had their back turned towards you for too long. I've got the two of pentacles and the ace. That's, or, sorry, the two of wands and the ace of wands. That's the three of wands. This person has been away from you for a long time. For some of you, up to three years or longer. Three to six years. And they, they're going to tell you things like, I can't stop thinking about you. Um, do you remember all the good times that we had? Uh, I remember how, how much you loved me. I know we can be happy if you just give me another chance, right? This is all manipulation. You know, they're going to be like, hey, baby, you look so sexy. You know, they're going to try to throw the wand at you here. And I, I, don't, I feel like you've already made your decision. Now they're seeing that how abundant you are. They're seeing that you're an empress. You, you know, you could be, um, you could have your own business, like I said, doing something here on the in the public eye, working on a craft that's made you very successful. They're being told how much money you make, okay? And they want to come back in. Yeah, and take what you've got. Look at this. They want to come back in and take what you've got, the Seven of Swords. That's all they want to do is take advantage of what you've created for yourself. They know they're, they're going to have to really fight for this. They know they could have some major competition. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is a manipulator, and they're broke. They, I feel like they don't have anything. Yeah, they're broke. So they know they missed out here um, on, a, in a, on a blessing in love. I feel like this person may not have thought that you would ever be a success. And boy, are they wrong. I mean, I'm seeing that you've got ten pentacles out here. That's the most you can have in the tarot deck. And you're an empress energy having this victory. Um, they're, they're cloud chasers, basically, is, is what this person is is a clout chaser and yeah they need money I feel like they're struggling they could have a lot of people that are hounding them for money if that's the case they like I said they may want a handout they may want to come and take what you've got after no communication for a long time this could be somebody who has um, lied about you um, Plan, plot, and strategize, strategized about you behind your back. But I feel like there's a group of people that want money from this person. Like, they owe money here. Okay? And I'm seeing these hands out. So, yeah. Um... This person wants to come and take advantage of you. So they're about to show up. Yeah, see? Here's the thing. This is a wish fulfillment card, right? But they don't actually get that wish fulfillment until they get ten cups. This person only has nine. They have a wish. That's all that they've got. They've got a wish. Um, but they, they're not going to get ultimate wish fulfillment and the Ten of Cups unless you offer your cup of love. Unless they get this cup right here, they don't get the Ten. All they'll have is the wish. Like they're sitting here wishing, I wish I could get back with the Collective. I wish the Collective would give me another chance because if the Collective gave me another chance, I may not ever have to work again. My life will be set. I'll be on easy street because the collective now has all of the coin, okay? And this person is broke. They could drink a lot. This could be a heavy drinker, somebody who may own a bar or hang out in a bar because I'm seeing them behind a bar here. They've had possibly several three third-party situations or um, this could be an ex who has cheated on you a couple of different times, all right? And this time... I feel like they want this soulmate connection, but for all the wrong reasons. 
Okay, yeah, they want they want to keep you for theirs. Okay, they don't want you moving on. They don't want you with anybody else. They see you as the golden ticket. Okay, it's really what it is. The ticket to easy street. And um, yeah, all they want is that cup. If you would only offer your cup of love, they, um, they would have an easy life. Okay, they would have the ten of pen or ten of cups and ten of pentacles. They'd have everything now. Yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. This person, all they can do is think about you. They're thinking to themselves what they're gonna look and feel like, and what their life is gonna be like without you. It's gonna be difficult, right? It's gonna be hard to get ahead. They're always going to be pining over you and realizing what it is that they lost here. So, yeah, whoever this page is, though, they're telling them how much money you're making, what kind of victory you're having. This could be movement, travel as well. You could be taking a vacation. They could be watching this online, seeing everything that you're doing. Whatever you're posting, this person is spying on everything. But this is somebody who just wants to take from you. They want to take control. And this is somebody who's betrayed you behind your back. Like, they're, I feel like they've done a lot to you and said a lot about you um, that you don't know about. Okay? They're coming in with all of this, you know, heartfelt messages and, and all of the lust and passion, but it's it, they've got really bad motives here. I feel like all they want to do is take advantage of what you created for yourself. And you had to heal from this person's betrayal. Maybe not once, but possibly twice. What fell on the floor? Yeah, Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Cups in reverse. See, that's the cup that they want. The one that's in your hand. If you were to give them that cup, they would have the Ten of Cups. A dream life. You're their golden ticket, okay? You're their golden ticket with the golden egg, all right? But in reverse, you're not offering that cup. I feel like you 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 maybe have loved this person once before, but you don't see them in the same way that you did. So, yeah, I feel like your decision's already made. You're not offering that cup of love. I, you may even intuitively know that this person's been betraying you behind your back. You know? Yeah, I feel like they just want to control you, Okay? They just want to keep you down. Look at how he's like snapping his fingers and pointing down, right? Um, so like stay where you are because you're their, you're their golden ticket. You would give them an easy life. Yeah, see, you're moving forward from this person. You could be moving away. Some of you could be moving to a whole nother area in the world like overseas, okay? A whole new continent, all right, so yeah, and if you work online, you could easily do that. Wherever that has the internet, you could go. And I feel like you're going. Um, either energetically you're leaving this person behind or physically you're making an actual move here. But you're done with this person. This is a cycle that's closing out. You've made your decision. You don't feel the same way about them. Um, you're standing your ground. I mean, you've decided to put this behind you and keep moving forward and keep having a victory. Okay. Yeah. And you're keeping all of your moves hidden here because this person really, they don't show you love, you know, but they want to cling on. They don't want to let you go. And this emperor is about to come in and try whatever they can. Okay, but it's all manipulation. I need you to be aware of that. Yeah, they're going to be coming in to try um, to get back together with you here. Knight of Swords energy. They're rushing to this. I always see as the fastest moving knight in the deck. But the thing is, is this person has no love. They have no actual love. Okay, they're coming out dry um and cold with the the king of swords energy and the emperor and the knight of swords this person 
you know, they're thinking strategically about what they have to say and what they want to say to get you back, but they really aren't, they are not going to be giving you love. They want your love, okay? And they want your money, and they want to take advantage of this life that you've created for yourself. And so, yeah, get ready for this communication. You are about to see this person. I'm here in possibly by the weekend. So, um, yeah, but be aware, this emperor here, um, all up in their ego, thinking they can control you and get you back easily, um, I feel like... They they don't have they don't have the kind of love for you that you require, okay? They're loving on your money and your bling, all right? 